It's the American Express Halftime Report as you watch game one of the Eastern Conference Finals. And uh, as always, big throng out there, the Deer District outside Fiserv Forum. Giannis skying for two of his 14. And the Bucks with a five-point lead over the Hawks here in game one. We welcome you to Studio J here in Atlanta. Ernie Johnson along with Charles Barkley, Kenny Smith, and Shaquille O'Neal. Before we get to the pictures, Chuck, just to break down the first half for me, uh, five-point Milwaukee lead. Well, I think uh, Milwaukee's not playing, to me, like this Eastern Conference Finals. They're playing this like this is just a regular season game. And I see Giannis still got a couple of those bad habits. Well, he brings the ball up the court. That drives me crazy. If I'm Drew Holiday or Chris Middleton, I said, no, you're, they're just going to build a wall. You're going to get the ball. We're only going to give you the ball below the free throw line. Because you see, every time he goes down low and makes a move, he either gets a layup, a dunk, or he gets somebody a wide on three because they got to come help. But he got a really bad habit, man, of trying to bring the ball up or go, or go one on five. And that's the only time I worry about the Bucks. He's got 14, Drew Holiday, and we, uh, you anticipated that Drew Holiday would have a, uh, a huge impact in this series. He got 16 points yeah, in the first half. He's going to be huge. He, he's got a physical advantage on Trey. He can't stop Trey, and Trey can't stop him. Well, let's talk about exactly that, Kenny, about uh, how you contend with Trey Young, how you contend with uh, Giannis Antetokounmpo. Yeah, you can't, you can't stop Trey. Well, I see you, Chuck. I see you. I, I, you're on camera with me right now. You're leaning. <laughs> You're leaning, Chuck. You're leaning, Chuck. You're leaning, Chuck. You're leaning, Chuck. You're leaning. I can see you in my right on camera, man. Like you're on camera leaning. But you know, we're talking about how do you defend these two guys, and they're, and they're very difficult to guard because of the things that they also have learned over the years on what to do differently, especially Giannis. So now, if you have Giannis right here on, on the top of the thing, you're saying, "Well, how do I go? Freeze him here. Freeze him here." Up when you say I'm gonna back off him, then all of a sudden he can see the floor and becomes a better passer. He becomes a better passer because there's no defensive pressure on him, and he finds Middleton for the layup. Again, you throw it to him out here again <clears throat> at the top of the circle, same spot, freeze it here, and you say Capella, I'm gonna sit in the lane on you. So he goes, you know what? I don't like that. I don't like to do that. I'm not trying to shoot this three. I'm going to back it up. I'm going to take up the space, and then I'm going to come at you full speed, and then I'm too long, too athletic, and too good for you to guard me like that. Trey Young, again, freeze it here. The Hawks do a good job of saying we're going to do single and double picks out front. And if you go under, Mr. T, hand down, as Mark Jackson would say, man, it's down. You cannot go under the screen. Freeze it again. And now we say we're going to have double picks. Same same play, but now we're going to have two. So Bobby Portis and Lopez have to make decision. Now and that's going to free up Capella, and he's going to get forget the lob. You get the underscore pass. So they go single or double up top, which is going to cause difficulty. But those two guys have read the offense. But, but let me tell you something. That's really what Coach Bud, that's what Bud's got to make a coaching adjustment. He got to take Lopez out the game and go with Portis. He's got to go some, oh, and he's got to put Lopez, take Lopez out the game. And put, put Giannis at five. Put Giannis at five. Because Lopez ain't giving you enough to be out there. Cause they, Trey's going to get that every single time. Yeah, but if you're watching the game. Oh, Astro was watching the game. Uh, let me finish before you get knocked out. <laughs> let me finish. <laughs> you knocked a lot of game, people out lately. If you're watching the game, they switch everything. So I saw a couple of times where they had Giannis on them. They just went to another pick and roll and get a small defender. As I tried to state before the game, if Trey, man, gets touched and he gets in lane, you're but right. That's, that's, look but at, look that's at that. Lopez. That's Trey right that's there, Shaq. That's, that's Lopez. Lopez. Back, look, where Lopez is. look what Lopez is. Look, that's going to be there all that's, night. That's, Lopez is useless. And that's what I was saying. That, like, that, that's why you got to go small. The game, his floor the game, his floor the game is unstoppable because he's elusive with the ball. And if you're going to back up like that, he's going to score. But if you're going to put Giannis on him and they switch and everything, he's just going to pull it out. Go to another pick. No, but I'm saying, Jack, of if Lopez is just bagging down there. He's not doing anything. But if you put Giannis at the five or even Portis, they they, they don't have to bag down that far. So far. This yeah. game is unstoppable. That, that, that's no, no, we're not saying it's unstoppable. No. We're saying it, Listen, you're, you're you going to make it much more difficult. That's not difficult at all. You know why it's Right now, you know it's in the fact because I can do that. But because Lopez because is backing up into, nope. into the lane. Because the mighty Bucks, who, who is the, the heavy favorite, is only up by five points. So 
Trey we're we're, we're talking about that Warburg. particular play. Lopez is useless against that play if he's just going to keep backing up. Young's got 25 in the first half, third time this postseason. Uh-huh. He's had at least 25 and a half. And it is a five-point game, 59-54. Back with more on the American Express Halftime Report in just a sec. You're watching the American Express Halftime Report. See all you can expect when you're with Amex. 